welcome back to uh, Tuesday's Tarts. And uh, today we want to talk about a fourth attribute of God, which is His attribute of love. God is love. And uh, we know that John 3.16 tells us, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So that, that's, you know, a very popular verse. Most people can quote that. And uh, God, you know, tells us God is love. So God has always been love. It's, it's not not just that he does love and loves us, but he is love. He's always been love. Even before he created the earth and the heavens and stuff, he was love. So, uh I want to share a passage of scripture from 1st John chapter 4 verses 7 through 21 and there's a lot of there's a lot of scripture we could use but uh, this is one I want to use today to talk about God's love again there in verse 7 1st John chapter 4 says beloved let us love one another for love is of God and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God he that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. In this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world that we might live through him. So, you know, it tells us there God is love. And if, you know, if we love God, we'll love others. And God showed his greatest love in that he sent his only begotten Son jesus christ to come and die on the cross and rise again to, to pay the penalty of our sins and says herein is love not that we love god but that he loved us so he loved us first even when we were sinners and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins that means a payment you know our sin has to be paid for and there's no way that we can pay for it but the only way it can be paid is by Jesus shed blood. So we have to trust in that. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. So if he loved us that much, we should love others. No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us and his love is perfected in us. So when we love others, we're, we're showing God's love through us. And, you know, other people can see, you know, the love of God through our witness. Hereby know we that we dwell in him and he in us because he hath given us his spirit. He's given us his Holy Spirit. When we get saved, the Holy Spirit comes to dwell in our hearts and to guide us and uh, to teach us and give us understanding. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, dwell, God dwelleth in him, and he in God. So when we get saved, we need to confess. You know, we need to share it and tell others that we're saved and how to be saved. And we have known and believed the love that God hath to us. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. So that's a fruit. Of, of our love towards God is that we love others and we love him herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment and because as he is so are we in this world so when Jesus was walking here on earth he was going about uh, you know preaching and telling others how to be saved and showing his love and that's what we're to do you know, because we have the Holy Spirit in us and we can go about and tell others about Jesus and how to be saved and the love of God. It says, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear. Casteth out fear. Because fear hath torment, he that feareth is not made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. If a man say, I love God and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? So we're to love others. And uh, we're not to love their sin, but we're to love others enough that we hopefully can share the gospel with them. 
And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God love his brother also. So, we're supposed to have love for, for, for people that uh, they'll get saved and to be a witness to them, a witness of Jesus and his salvation. And uh, thank you all for joining us here uh, to learn about the attribute of God's love. Thank you.